I'm going to be um, working on a column for the next few sort of months. I'm transit planning 101. There's not a great pipeline for transit planning. So like if you want to go in to be a transit planner, it's not really established. So with this column, I'm going to try to share those insights with y'all. And I'm just here for the interaction. I'm here for the experience. I, I'm here to talk about transit. My name is Joshua Woods. I'm a transit planner based in Chicago, and I've been in transit for about 10 years, about half that time in the private sector and about half that time in the public sector at a few transit authorities. Transit planning is actually not super formalized, and from an academic standpoint, one of the best ways to learn how to do this work is to actually do the work. I mean, I've worked on projects in California. I've worked on projects in Michigan. I've worked in projects like in Florida, like across the country, and again, being able to see all these different places and all the different needs and all the different sort of pieces that come together and then how it comes together into a transportation system has been a really great tool for just my exploration of my thinking about cities, about transit planning, about what it means to be an urban planner. I'm originally from Kansas City. My um, husband, he, his family mostly lives in rural Indiana. So we bounce around between those three different geographies, Chicago, Kansas City, and then the middle of unincorporated Indiana a fair amount. And I think that actually does inform a lot of how I think about planning, because above all, I think planning is just trying to facilitate a world that sort of accommodates the lives that people are trying to live in the places that they are, and sort of acknowledging that um, everybody is sort of engaging with the transportation based on their specific needs and making sure the solutions align with that has really sort of helped me and then just seeing how it is lived out in different places. Because again, beyond the sort of physical needs, cultures are different in, in places. And then the culture of the place really informs the transit solutions that make sense and carry. And just being in such a big city is sometimes hard. It can get a little insular because like Chicago where there's like several million people here. So it's easy to think that the world sort of stops at the city limits, but you, you gotta acknowledge that everybody's living their own lives, trying to do what they gotta do. And like maintaining that sort of bouncing around different places helped me maintain that as I carry forward as a planner. My very, very, very first job in transit was a dispatcher for the transit authority. It was just me managing the um, ADA paratransit service, the fixed route transit service. I was manning the customer service line. The building had dial up. So like whenever I had to look up issues, it was, it was chaos, but it was great because again, like I think I really appreciate when I can get my hands dirty and it provided a great opportunity for that. I am a transit planner by day, but I'm a bus driver by night. I actually got, while I was in college working at City Bus, I got my CDL. If you've been in transit for any period of time, there's kind of a recurring driver shortage that's always sort of omnipresent in the field. And while I was in college, since I was just generally the intern, since I also had a CDL, as we were covering runs, when we got to the point where we had more runs than people, I got to drive a lot of buses and revenue service, and I absolutely loved it. Interacting with the people is some of my favorite part of the job. So actually getting to do that on the ground work is, is probably one of the most rewarding parts of the job for me. And even though I am working in um, consulting right now, I still actually have a part-time job at a private transportation company. So I drive motor coaches, but if there's a bus somewhere, I'm probably gonna find a good excuse to drive it. <laughs> but it seems like if you talk to anybody that has been driving a bus for a while, there's something about it that's just enjoyable. Like, you know, it, like it, yeah, I, I can't even put words to it. It's cathartic, it's repetitive, it's relaxing, it's fun, it's social. I enjoy it. <laughs> Anybody can do transit. It's not something to be gatekept. If you are not a transit planner, but you view yourself as maybe you could be one, like it's all open, anybody is welcome to do it. As I've started to write this column, I think something that has been surprising to me is because like, I mean, obviously I, it's probably come through that I kind of like transit. So as I'm talking about it, I'm like, this is an overly niche thing. No one actually is going to care. But as I've been writing, it's been exciting to see how there is kind of this latent interest for that. So I think it's kind of a combination. I would really love to just maybe be where my transit people are because I think we have a lot of sleepers out there and it's exciting to see. I've enjoyed a whole lot learning from the other perspectives that I've bumped into just as I've started writing more and more. So more than I, I think I have something to tell you guys and more than I 
that. I'm excited to see what maybe y'all have to say to me. So like, if I write something that sort of is, it, it's interesting, if I write something that you disagree with, interact with me. Like I, more than anything, I want interaction. Cause I think, especially in, in the moment that we're in, we're actually having these conversations about what we want, what we don't want about our transit services. Then I think it creates a better foundation for the continued existence of mass transit here. So I like talking about transit and I like, talking to other people about it. So I'm just more than anything trying to leave breadcrumbs. So if you are trying to figure out your career and maybe transit is something that you're interested in, if this is could be a resource for that. So with this call, hopefully make some more transit planners along the way. So I'm I'm actually starting to establish a decent collection of, of transit shirts. So this is the bus in Hawaii. So the Transit Authority serving Honolulu, they, this is their uniform and it rotates, I think annually. So there's a whole lot of versions of this shirt, but there's like, so this is like one of their fixed route buses. This is the handy van is their paratransit service. And this is what the bus driver is wearing because it's such, I mean, it's, it's very Hawaii. It's quintessentially Hawaii. It, it, it's an awesome shirt. Thank you.